What's up, everybody? Timber Builds here with another video doing a base tour of my Pagoda base. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this over on Seether's channel, but I've made some upgrades with the 1.2 Super Duper update, and I wanted to show off some of the things that I changed with all the new items they added. I uh, also wanted to use some of the time to talk about the content that I plan on making on this channel, uh, what you guys can look forward to, and if you stick around for the whole video, I'm going to put together a little bit of a trailer for my next mega build that's probably got 150 in-game days uh, over in the sandbox that's going to be a city and castle and that takes up the entire sandbox once I'm done with it, and I plan on doing some kind of short 15, 20 minute build guides on just small portions and you guys can see how that, how a giant base or city kind of gets put together uh, piece by piece. So let's get going. Uh, so this is just uh, my little entry base. It's nothing too crazy. Um, never been the biggest fan of it. It's all right, it gets the job done. Uh, but I will plan on doing a video where I tear this whole thing down and record making sort of a giant uh, castle gate entrance area and that'll be a video you guys can look forward to uh, at some point still have my rainbow road little area down here with the uh, ash cement walls and the crow roofs and those are kind of how I built a lot of my bridges on this area I haven't changed a whole lot um, on the outside, kind of upgraded to the new stairs, nothing too crazy, so that kind of changed that because they don't have half stairs of these for some reason yet, but hopefully they add those soon because I really want them. Got my sap collection over here, got it optimized to about 120 pieces of sap every time I come and collect it, if they're all full, so that's pretty nice. Um... On top of that, just a little crow feather gathering area because they fall here when the crow lands on top so I can get them a little easier. Uh, I do plan on, once we get inside, talking about sort of how this base was built because I have had a lot of questions on the grounded Discord, uh, how I got this whole thing started. And I definitely want to show that off. If you guys are interested in a tutorial on how to get a base like this started so you can do the same sort of Having inlaid brick and cement look. Uh, I'd be happy to do a custom game and kind of walk you through how I did that. Uh, this is my little area that stops these infected bugs from destroying everything I've worked so hard on. Uh, I do plan on probably doing an updated video on building these out to be a more interesting. And then, as you can see, I use a lot of mushroom brick. So I've got mushroom farm. Um, I don't really use the, to the chunks, the mushroom chunks, because they are a lot less efficient than the toadstool chunks, but I thought they were cool because they look huge. I'm also building out a mussel sprout farm over here because I go through a ton of potions. They're uh, smoothies fighting everything. Gather all my weed stems and stuff, which I don't use a ton of in my builds, but I gather them all over there and can send them over here and keep them for storage. And then another thing, I'll head over to my little barn. Uh, that is another build that I've never been super happy with, so I do plan on tearing that down at some point, getting all the resources back, and I'll do a build guide on how I built this and of what it looks like when I do that. And you guys can kind of follow along. It's all right, kind of gets the job done now, but I'm thinking maybe this could be sort of a peer sort of looking structure. And then, I don't know, maybe there's like a Harry Potter um, boathouse that I've always thought looked super cool so maybe building that out and turning it into like a barn for the bug or for my uh, pet bugs. Uh, I've got flying buttresses around the sides still have the same turrets, turret towers and everything on the outsides the upper balcony space just added in the mant raziers because I think they're amazing and I love the new statues and stuff this is all roughly the same as where it was. I've just upgraded to new chests, new beds. Uh, got some of the chandeliers all throughout the base. Still the same efficient kind of workspace. One tip that I got for you guys is if you uh, are looking to upgrade or change things that you've done before the patch, save before you change anything. Because I noticed that I tried to uh, add all the pine cones chests because they're so much bigger to the bottom and they do not fit under there for my build for some reason. I also had to kind of mess with some of this stuff. So some things that you've done pre super duper update may no longer uh, work. So save before you start moving stuff because you may have to load a save back to get things back to where you want them or just completely change everything. And I did not want to change everything. 
uh, built this base specifically because I loved having the science station in here. And I uh, that's just super convenient um, for the people who were asking on the grounded Discord. This whole base started from one grass half block uh, right here. So what I did to make each one of these walls is I took one half plank here. You could use a full plank, doesn't really matter. I made sure that that plank is centered on this center little triangle piece. So I had a way to get through because I wanted the doors centered on these. And then you want to make sure you place this in a way that it's slightly set back from the front face. Um, that way you get the nice look of you get the inlaid brick and you can add the lights and it kind of gives the whole base its own new material that uh, you wouldn't otherwise be able to have. And then from there, it was just taking a mushroom wall and put them right there and it snaps to there. These are just half walls. So in the middle of this mushroom wall, this is just a full size mushroom wall, I placed another wall going perpendicular to it and that is how I slowly did it. And you just have to do take your time and do that on each one of these walls. All of these are exactly the same. So it did the same thing right over here. And that's how this was made. And you just do it on each wall all the way around on every side. And then that allows you to build out from the center and that clip into these concrete sort of pillar looking things. And that's sort of how I started it. But if people are interested, I'm more than happy to do a little build guide and sort of build out the lower level. Because once you get this lower level, you just build up and add floors at whatever height you want, stairs, and you can do the layout any way you want. You want. There's a lot of freedom in here. Uh, once you get the outside walls built, you kind of go wherever. Uh, I've done a little bit of updates in here. Got some muscle sprouts growing. This was a big update. Um, I turned, made my own little water tower in my base. So I got a bunch of dew collectors up on the next floor so I can have them all drop in and it collects all the water here and I don't have to have a bunch of ugly dew collectors that take up probably two or three times the amount of space this little thing does. And I had just an open space there um, in the floor like an atrium space that uh, previously just wasn't being used. So I thought I'd make it more efficient. Got my little viewing area out here still. I did add the hot tub so I can take a soak and look out the window, regenerate my health a bit. And then all the other stuff's kind of the same. I just upgraded to these new chandeliers because they're pretty cool. Um, and the new shelving with all the different customization options look really, really nice. I did upgrade all the stairs in my base to the full mushroom stairs. Although the acorn ones are cool, they just look too bleacher-like to me. Got new statues up on this level. Added the new fireplace, the mold orc statues with the backlighting, which I'm just loving the detail that you can get in bases now. It's just so much homier overall. Got the new couches, some of the new lights and picture frames. Definitely have more materials and things I can add to the base as I go, but I kind of have some special ideas of how I want to use all that other stuff. So I just kind of did some quick updates here and there just to build the space and really uh, bring it out to bring it to life because all the details are really what bring a base from just an empty, weird space to something that's really feels like a homey base. And these are the the dew collectors I was talking about that feed down into the the water catchers there, and that's how I get all my water. And then still have the same big balcony that goes 360 degrees all the way around the base. Uh, just a cool little detail that I thought with all the space would look nice. So nothing too crazy here, but definitely like that it allows you to run around the whole thing and kind of see and look around the map. If we head back inside, got the same little staircase with the new stairs, all the picture frames and stuff. And then I have my updated boss uh, museum where I've got all of the new candles, the spider candles and candles, these new bases, which look super great, even though these are ridiculously expensive with the Supreme Court site. But you know, when you're mega building, uh, you gotta put, take out all the stops. There's, there's no reason to go with the cheap stuff if you're gonna put all this effort in. You might as well just go for it. But got the new Wasp Queen, looks super cool, love that. And I am so pumped. I built out the rest of the stuffed bug and head mount museum. Uh, originally that you could probably have seen in my original base tour, but now they have every single bug in the game. Um, 
So I've got every single thing you can build, all the bugs, all the mounts, so I can come up and get my buffs if I'm looking to get extra damage or get extra loot luck against everything. And they're all organized on the concrete walls and then the bugs on the opposite side. Got the stuffed wasp, all the ladybugs, everything. Super happy that they're kind of, they just keep updating and adding this stuff and that they have them all because I think these are super cool. And now that each one has a use, it really gives you a reason to build out a space like this uh, to ha house all of these. You could always uh, put them out where you'd fight these bugs. So like the Black Widows and stuff, uh, you could put them out there. But I just liked the, uh, the functionality of having them all in one space and I can kind of decide what I'm going to get and then leave my base and go fight from there. We'll head uh, back down to the bottom, and we'll go my favorite place in the base, up my little bounce tower here. Like C3 said, I've never felt more like a ping pong ball doing this, but it works, gets you up and around the pagoda. And this is my armory. I uh, spent a lot of time building this out. I have every single armor weapon and weapon in the game. Got the new wasp stuff, the bard's tutor, the new bow. And I'm slowly, slowly, slowly working on getting every single item, uh, base set, and weapon to its max tier and upgraded. But as a lot of people probably know, that takes forever. Uh, so it's a slow, slow process. I got my little third level um, bridge here with the new ramp braziers. I think they look super cool. It's a fun little detail. St started working on a uh, way to house all these mosquitoes. So if you didn't know, you can actually um, leave these as blueprints. And these guys, as far as they haven't patched it yet, they can't uh, can't get you. They don't go through blueprints for some reason. So I was slowly building a cage around them because I can't stand when they attack my base. <laughs> all the hard work just to get destroyed quickly. Um, but yeah, so this space goes 360 degrees all the way around. It has every single armor set, all the weapons, all the different tiers of them, and then has some repeat stuff like different building uh, options. So sort of some theory crafted armor sets uh, just for fun. Because there's so many options and so many things. I wanted to show off as many as I possibly could. And then go up one of these sets of stairs. I have just a little area. Um, that I really like. I think it looks cool. It was a ton of crow feather collecting. Uh, just for sort of an open c corridor I haven't really done a whole lot with, but if anyone has any good ideas or suggestions of what I should add to this area, I'm more than happy to take suggestions and add that stuff to my base and then do updates over time, because I fully plan on continuing to build at this base. I'm taking a little break right now uh, just to kind of work on my sandbox build that I think people are going to be really, really excited about. Because if you think this build is big and cool, I think the sandbox castle and city is going to be a whole different level. Um, this is my lantern on top of the pagoda. It's got all my return zip lines that go all over the map. And then my zip, to zip line uh, tower up at the top to get me as fast as possible to all the different places on the map. Uh, a lot of these zip lines for efficiency go to where like a crow feather is or a specific material that I farm a lot of, like the, uh, the ash cement charcoal stuff. And go up to my last area is my zip line tower. Uh, this is another thing that I do plan on rebuilding at some point. Um, it's fine now, it's functional, but I think I could make it even cooler and just a way better space and then make a cool video out of upgrading it. Uh, so that's that's the base, the Pagoda base uh, at this point with the 1.2 update. And if you did stick around for the whole video, uh, here comes the trailer for what I'm looking to do next. And it is going to be a giant sandbox base that's already heavily started, but it will... Uh, Slowly, I'll probably do a, a tour of what I've done so far, and then after that, we will do um, just mini episodes of the Mega Base build, so you guys can see kind of piece by piece, building by building, uh, how a Mega Build gets built. And I'll insert just tips and tricks, things I like, little ideas here and there, and I'll take suggestions on what people think I should add to that space. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed the base tour, and here comes the trailer. 